This is ridiculous! Good morning, guys. I hope you're having an incredible day. It is day three in Monaco, and I am absolutely in love with this place. I spent the entire day yesterday behind the wheel of the all-new Bentley Flying Spur, and while driving impressions are under embargo until October 15th, I can say the car is gorgeous inside and out. We've got some fun plans for the rest of the day, meeting up with one of my best friends, Seb Delaney, who's lucky enough to actually live in Monaco. But before we head out, I wanted to share with you how spectacular the hotel we've been staying at for the last three days is. Bentley has rented one of the coolest hotel rooms in the world inside the Hotel de Paris in Monaco. Let's check it out. The hotel just underwent a $280 million restoration and it shows. Check out the lobby. Okay, so if you've ever wondered what a $50,000 a night hotel room looks like in Monaco, check this place out. So Bentley has rented this hotel suite out. It's called the Princess Grace Suite. And yes, this is all one room and it's two stories. It has some of the most incredible aspects of any hotel room I have ever seen. So I figured I'd have to share it with you. So when you come in, there's this main lobby area. It's unbelievable that a hotel room would have a lobby, but there's a sitting area right here. And then check out how breathtaking the views on the balconies are. Look at this place, guys. Unbelievable. The buildings, the scenery, the mountains, the ocean. Now this weekend they had the Monaco Yacht Show. So there's some of the most exquisite yachts in the entire world in the harbor right here. Some boats upwards of two, three, four hundred million dollars. Check out the view from this balcony. The amount of balcony space for one hotel room is actually insane. And the crazy part is it's two stories and there's another balcony up there with a pool. Yep, not the worst view in the world. All right, let's head on upstairs. Oh yeah, this hotel room has its own elevator too. All right, moving on to the next grand room. Now, because Bentley has rented it out, there are a ton of little bespoke Bentley things, little models and stuff. I love that attention to detail, but check out this room and then the outdoor patio on the second floor is absolutely incredible. So I was just standing down on that level and now we are on the second level. Look how long this balcony is and it extends all the way over here where we've been having lunch, breakfast, dinner for the last couple of nights. They even got their own personal infinity pool and a hot tub. This hotel room legitimately looks like a resort in itself. Look at the decking, the hot tub, the pool, and the view, 360 degrees all the way around of the beautiful place, Monaco. And I'm pretty sure at the top of that building right there is the most expensive apartment in the entire world. What's going on, man? How are you? Good to see you. Welcome, Seb Delaney, ladies welcome. and gentlemen. For those curious, I got a link in the description below for his channel. Yes, Dude, yes. you live in freaking Monaco. I am so jealous. Dude, this is, it's the most amazing place. And I can't believe you've, you've been here, but you've never really I've never really it. experienced it. Yeah. So and we're gonna do, what, you're going car shopping later today? Going car shopping later, so you're gonna come with us. Yeah. But everyone who comes here, uh, I have to show them this car. This is called a Renault Twizy, and this is, I believe, the perfect car for this area in the world. So the first time I ever saw one of these was in London. I okay. want to say maybe two years ago. Don't have them in the United States. Never seen anything like it. And I'm extremely excited to take it out for a test drive. And he says that 
I'm not going to be able to figure out how to open the door and turn it on. You have to, if you, yeah, you open the door, turn it on, and do the first couple of meters with it. Okay? Okay, so all right, I'll try. Here's the key. Okay. Okay, and I'll take the camera. Okay. If you want. Yeah, that'd be excellent. And then, all right, here we go. Now you have to try and figure it out. I don't, you may, you may do this really quickly because you've been in a bunch of cars. All right, so there's no, there's not a single button to lock or unlock the car. Yeah. So that's maybe a hint. Does it, does it have windows normally, or it never has windows? You can put plastic windows on, but I've removed them because the weather is, you know, it's quite nice. Ah, wow, that was much quicker. People yeah, usually <laughs> start looking for buttons all over. That was, my, that was my clue, because there wasn't any windows, so I felt like you could reach in. Look how sick this is. One, it has, like, Lamborghini Murcielago doors, and there's actually a seat behind the front seat. So it's a two-seater. That is ridiculous. Yep. This car is so small, I actually feel like I could push it over. It weighs less than a thousand pounds, and in max spec, it costs less than nine thousand dollars, and has yep. seventeen horsepower, all electric. So we're gonna take it for a drive. It's hard to turn on, too. We'll give it a go. Okay, give it a go. Let's try this. See if you can figure right, it out. So... There you go. Does the seat slide? There he is. You're doing well. I didn't think you'd be anywhere near this this sort of you know stage by now. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right. So. Well, first we'll shut the door. Maybe that's necessary. Oh wow, this is. <laughs> Handbrake. Maybe. <laughs> what, the fuck? what is this? <laughs> so what are you press pressing over there? You got the drive, D. Yeah. The drive button. Yeah. That's not usually how it works, but. Oh. <laughs> that's, uh, that's for the glove <laughs> box. <laughs> Is that why you said it was going to be yeah, difficult to yeah, turn yeah. on? But okay. Now, okay, now try. <laughs> Watch your feet. Yeah. Okay, yeah. it's stuck in neutral. You got the handbrake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to release it. How do you turn this thing off? There you go. How? What do you? Which direction does it go? go. All right, you're not telling me. No. Dude, this is the hardest <laughs> car to to drive of all time. That's what I'm saying. Start. Yeah, what right. The? But I once do. you get going, it's the best, easiest car of all time. I don't want to break it. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's amazing. I've just been stuck here at this point for a while. This is why you need to give this instructions This is the best anti-theft vehicle of all time. I know. Also, like, panoramic sun... It's got th two sunroofs. Yeah, this one's actually got all the options. So it's yeah. also got Bluetooth um, nice. for your for your phone. So see that little screen up there? That's yeah. where you control it. And then these buttons here. <laughs> yeah. All right, so put your foot on the brake. Yeah. Press the button on the side of the handbrake. Yeah. Put it up a little bit to release and then down. Ah. Uh, there you okay. go. Bye. Bye. Right? <laughs> there you go. And the coolest thing is this is glass here. Yeah. And it's here, like see? Setup. Yeah, so you can see your front to your front wheel guards as well. So you can kind of aim where you're pointing so the Here's car. why this $10,000 car is just as good as a Senna. Yeah. There's a title <laughs> for you right there. there there's the video There's title. a little boot. Is that, that where's there? the park button? You put it in neutral and yeah, you put neutral, the handbrake on? Yeah, and you put the handbrake okay. on. There you go. There's a trunk. Well, I mean a trunk. This you can take out, and there's a little cubby hole back there. Okay. But then you can turn this seat round so it kind of becomes like a trunk if you don't oh. have anyone in the back. And, Dude, this uh, is this is too cool. Doors are an option as well. Do, what do you mean? Normally they don't go they, up like you, this? No, no, no. Like they, they, you can come with no doors. You can get it with no doors. No doors. Why would you do that? Uh, because they're like a six hundred dollar. I guess people so. remove doors off Jeeps. So yeah. Kind of similar yeah. So thing. there you go, similar style. And then the window is obviously an option. The sunroof. Does it kind um, of tilt from side to side when you go around? Yeah, it moves a little bit, bit, but it's got pretty. You'll see, it's got pretty hard suspension. And yeah. I love this thing, dude. It's awesome. It's awesome. And you know, obviously, you get sort of really good compensation from the government for it because it's fully electric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It costs you like two dollars to fill up. 
And I read something even. that you, you buy the car and then you rent the battery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you buy the car, but then you pay 50 euros either a month or a year, I've forgotten. And then you... That's a big difference. Yeah, I know. Sub to Lenny, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dude, thank you. I can't wait to take this out. And then, don't worry, there will be some crazy car content. He's potentially looking to buy an MC Stradale, which is one of my favorite Maseratis. Uh, there's pretty much and only, I'm never, I'm there's like only one. two Maseratis that I like basically, yeah. the MC Stradale and the MC12. And MC. some of the older stuff. Definitely not the Ghibli. Let's take this thing for a rip. All right, so how do you charge this thing? Right here. So you lift this up and yeah. then boom, you got your washer <laughs> fluid. <laughs> it looks like a garden hose. And it's just, it's, you plug it in like an iPhone, right? And it charges like an hour and a half, two hours, full charge. And then you're good to go for, they say 80 kilometers. I can't remember what that is in miles, but it's, it's like 25, 30 kilometers. Monaco is a 10 minute drive. You can go down three times, basically, on, okay. on a charge. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I think you've got all the info you need now. Oh yeah, the, the, the horn. Let me show you the horn. There you go. Oh, <laughs> that's actually hilarious. Um, so there's that, and yeah, I think that's all the info you need on the car, right? All right. Oh yeah, no, oh. one thing is also the batteries here glow down, so the center of gravity is actually really low. So it looks like you could flip it over, but it, it, will, it will hold. Cool. Enjoy. I'm actually so excited to drive this thing. It's like a little toy. This is the smallest car I have ever been in by such a long shot, it's not even funny. It's less than eight feet long. It's five feet shorter than a Mini Cooper and it weighs less than a thousand pounds. That is, <laughs> that is so funny. The doors are so light. Everything's just flimsy. The fact that it's less than nine grand for a car you can drive around in and it's all electric, that is unbelievable. All right. Oh, that. <laughs> Let's go. So <laughs> I find it hilarious that I've come to Monaco to drive the new Bentley Flying Spur and also in search of hypercars. It's the land of hypercars out here. And I've ended up in probably the cheapest new car that you can buy today. And yet I love every second of it. This thing is hilarious. Now acceleration, absolute trash. It doesn't accelerate well whatsoever, but it's so nimble. <laughs> and for the tight little roads around Monaco, this thing is perfect. Oh my gosh, whoa! <laughs> All right, let's see if we can max it out. The top speed's not very fast. Whoa! 75 kilometers, 80. That's the top speed, 80 kilometers. Oh my God, oh my God! <laughs> this thing is a riot! Is it drift? I'm like, kind of afraid it's gonna roll over. Like some sort of Reliant Robin accident. All right, let's launch it from a standstill. See what this thing is like. Yeah, well, the, the whole instant torque electric thing isn't, isn't really that apparent when you got 17 horsepower. It's like driving a golf cart, but it's only a little bit over three feet wide. So it's like the smallest golf cart of all time. I, I can't believe there's a second seat behind me. I'm actually having such a good time in this car. This is unbelievable. This is easily, by far, the most fun you can have in a car for under $10,000. For, for a new car, that is. Wow, the roads out here are absolutely spectacular. Oh my god. This car is actually too much fun, and the fact that it has vertically opening doors is the funniest thing ever. But it actually makes sense because it means it's insanely easy to park. I mean, size-wise, you can park this in just about as many places as a motorcycle, but when you open the doors, they don't take up any space. They just open upwards and you can hop out with ease, but <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this for $9,000. You can get one for cheaper than that too if you don't get it with all the options. They even make one with 5.4 horsepower. This one has 17 and it's easily one of the slowest cars I've ever driven. So one with 5.4, I can't even imagine. But yet at the same time, it is so much fun. Who would have thought that pretty much the slowest car in the world, the cheapest car in the world is also incredibly fun to drive. So my issue before was I kept trying to stick the key in here, but that's for the glove box. The key actually goes in here. Screen turns on. We'll go ahead and remove the parking brake, which you have to like push upwards and then, oh my God, I still can't figure it out. How do you do this, Seb? Up, down, around, I don't know. And then that's how you put it into drive. 
Uh, I'll be back in a second when I figure this out. And we're off! <laughs> I love the way the back of this car looks too. It's like a concept car, but it's actually real. Look, it's charging right now. It shows you the percentage charge on the dash. 82%. <laughs> oh, I kind of want one of these. So we're about to head into downtown Monaco right now. We're gonna take the Twizy. He's gonna drive me. Apparently he drives like an absolute animal on these tight twisty roads. <laughs> and we're about to show up. He's wearing swim trunks in an $8,000 car to go buy a monster Maserati. <laughs> but you know actually the story behind this car. What's the story Is behind there's it? There's five cars, a Bentley Continental GT, Porsche, 911, Maserati Gran Turismo, Audi R8, and Aston Martin Vantage. Uh -huh. And I've said that I'll buy one of the five and my audience is choosing. Oh, that's badass. So that's why we're gonna go test drive it now. All right. And after this video goes live, we then give it to the audience. They vote and this may be the car I buy. Okay, let's do it. I'm getting in the back seat of this thing. Oh my God. Go. You get okay. In. You go left leg first. No, you oh, left it, leg, yeah. you gotta straddle it. Yeah, you straddle it Ooh. and then you can actually lay your legs out. So you got plenty of space. Wait, I lay my... Yeah, you can, yeah. Around, <laughs> around me like that. That is amazing. And then I come in here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We've got a pillow just because it's more comfy. Okay, we'll go with that. I've never been in a car where I can hit my head on both sides of the car <laughs> when we go around turns. And the roof. And Yeah, and the roof, and the ground. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, I bet you could catch air off that speedboat easily. Easily, yeah, but well, <laughs> oh, you'd yeah. also probably break that. <laughs> break my body. So here, my look, you can put two wheels off the speed bump. Okay. Oh! <laughs> This is yeah. awesome! <laughs> Dude, this thing is too much fun! <laughs> it's amazing, I love this car so much. Right? Oh, oh yep! <laughs> <laughs> so this road, see, in the supercar, no yeah, way! no way! Oh my lord! The brilliant thing about this is you go through any gap. <laughs> yeah, this does make so much sense in the city. Yeah, so nippy. Here we are. Here we are. All right, so we just showed up to an exotic car dealership in a, a $9,000 car. So yeah. let's see if they take us seriously. Is this the car right this here? This is the one. Dude. All right. MC Sudali. That is sick. It's got the whole carbon pack. Great, basically brand new. I think it's got 1,500 kilometers on it. So, I mean, it's done no kilometers. Beautiful color. I think I'd probably take the stickers off, to be honest. I gotta say, the interior of this is sick. I have never been in an MC Stradale before. And the seats, if you mind yeah, full scooching carbon. forward slightly, it's got a full racing harness, full carbon fiber. You said they're out of an Enzo? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know, Cole told me that. But and I didn't realize that it doesn't have rear seats. Yeah, roll cage in the in the rear. It's a limited edition. I actually should probably find out how many there are. This um, could be a good thing for your video. Yeah, nat <laughs> naturally aspirated V8. Um, yeah, yeah, the sound, absolutely incredible. Yeah, only thing is gearbox is, is pretty crap to be honest. Single clutch gearbox. But this one's got 5,700 kilometers. So wow. it's like three and a half thousand miles. Yeah, or that's nothing for, it's a for a car like this. Yeah. yeah. So, Damn. Yeah, pretty cool. Sport mode and race mode. Race mode. Yep, that is easily one of the best sounding V8 notes in the entire world. Definitely the best part of this car. All right, enjoy, Seb.
So, you drove it, what do you think? It sounds amazing. It sounds absolutely ridiculously amazing. And it's a beautiful car. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful spec, car. isn't it? Yeah. But um, no, at first uh, they, they weren't really letting me go into a race. It was like, no, race switches everything off. I was like, I know, but... You I can't, hear. I, I was it was like, so much know. quieter yeah. without race mode. We're like, oh, we're trying to get shots from the Mercedes of the sound. Couldn't hear anything. Yeah. The second you put it into race, we're like, oh, yes. No, it, that it's, is nice. It's incredible. And like the downshifts. Yeah, they're the ridiculous. Holding, but the gearbox is pretty brutal. Um, the car is pretty old inside, but it, it's it's something. So, I don't know. I actually have no idea. Maybe, maybe I will buy this car. I have yeah. no idea. And you know, we successfully did show up in a $8,000 car. There it and is. And eventually, yeah. there it is over there. Did allow you to drive the car, which to be honest is a problem. I mean, look at me, <laughs> I know. Would you let me test drive? No, absolutely not. I wouldn't let me test drive. You I came mean, up to me and asked to drive my McLaren wearing that out. I'm just kidding, yeah, yeah, yeah. you wouldn't be able yeah, to yeah. no matter what outfit. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Next time I come to LA, I'm gonna bring you a suit and sit there. You're like, please, and please, beg, please, please let me drive your car. Well, dude, it was great to see you as always. Like I said, his link is in the description below. I'll put the French channel too. He's got a French yeah, channel just in case we got some French speakers. I tried to speak a little bit of French in this video and it was the worst thing in I the thought world. It was great. <laughs> I, he, he came up to me, he was like, I speak French at the school. <laughs> like, good exactly, work, good work. exactly. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.